Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I have special guest Jonathan J. Katz Moses here in the shop, and he's gonna teach me how to make these inlaid dovetails. Check it. Welcome to the shop, Jonathan. Thank you. So tell us what we're gonna to make today. So today we're gonna to make this inlaid dovetail box. And actually, inlaid dovetails are a lot easier than they look. You simply are gonna cut tails into your walnut, pins into your inlay board, then flush cut your inlay and cut pins and tails again. So it's just like cutting dovetails, but twice. Yeah, and we're gonna use this magnetic jig I invented that cuts tails, pins, shoulders, and can be used as a chisel guide. All right, what do we do first? First, we're gonna cut the tails. Let's get started. All right. This is our tail board, so we're gonna mark the shoulders as well. And then that's the distance we're gonna cut our rabbit in this way. Our rabbit is going to be in all four pieces of walnut and it's going to be a third of the distance up. This is gonna achieve a couple things. It's gonna hide the inside of the inlay and it's going to make your inlay look very even. Unlike uh, regular dovetails, we wanna leave our pins a little bit wider than we would normally because we're gonna to have to do it twice. So we need room for the second set of walnut to go in there. And a real easy way to do that, there's lots of ways, you can use dividers and there's lots of great ways to do it. But what I like to do is take the number of tails uh, that I want, which is three, double it, so six. Take the total width, divide by six, take one of those pieces, one sixth of that, divide it by two and that's your half pins. All right. And then we just lay it out like that. Now you take the tail side of the jig and okay. slide it up and oh, that hold ang it. Yep. That angles the saw at the perfect angle. Perfect angle, every time. And then I go down to the line. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Now we're going to flip our board around. Take your coping saw and you go just above the line and you pull towards you as you turn and then you stay just above the line. There you go. And use this as your, your, your flat plane. You can see gotcha. it line up. I've never used a Japanese pull saw, and so I'm still getting used to the cut being on the pull. Mm -hmm. But that came out great. Now, when you're chiseling out waste on your scrap piece of wangi, you want to basically create a nice shoulder in the front so you can't screw that up. So all I do is I, I chisel away just a little bit. Wow, these are great chisels. Um, I chisel away just a little bit, and then when you get just a little bit left, I stick my chisel in my knife line, just like this, and you can take the jig, take the shoulder side, oh. and use it as a 90 degree what? guide, and that gives you a perfect 90. So then you just give it a little tap, and that gives you a perfect shoulder to work with. So same thing over here, slide the jig up, and you just hold it with a finger right there. Those chisels are really sharp, so. That's because I sharpened them. Now we need to set the depth for our pins. And that depth is the width of the walnut minus the rabbit. So I like to use two pieces of the walnut for extra support because they're so thin. Set the marking gauge just like that. And then you take it and you don't need to mark out your shoulders because we're going to have half pins on the sides. I had this handy little jig my buddy made for me. I'm gonna put that <laughs> into the vise and we're gonna cut uh, corner B. So we got B here and B here and we marked the inside top of the box. Mm -hmm. So I need to put yep. this side facing in mm -hmm. and then this side on top. Mm -hmm. It registers against the side of the jig. I'll bring that up to the board there and I will tighten this down. Right? Yep. I mean, yes. Yes. <laughs> so we have our marking knife here and I will register on the inside right here, just like this. Mm -hmm. Make a nice little line. Yep. Spin it around. Flat side. Flat side. Mm -hmm. 
You mark our line. Mm -hmm. Right round. Right round, round, round. Since I got tired of showing you what to do, I'm going to have you explain this next step. Okay, I appreciate it. So next we're going to cut out our pins. The jig has two pin sides, so what I like to do is put it in my vise, and I cut this half of the board and then spin it. And so simply take your jig, just like we did for the tails. I go right up against my neighbor's fence without going over. Just the tip. Just the tip. Hashtag just the tip. Slide the jig up. And cut down to our line. Neighbor's fence. Spin the jig around because there's two pin sides. Slide it up to your saw. Then we're going to spin our board around. Right round. Right round, baby. Just like our tails, we're going to clear out our waist. Staying slightly above our line. Now, we're going to take our scrap piece of wangi and chisel out the waist to our tails. So again, you want to get close down to your line before you get into it. Then you get right into it. Make sure you're at 90. You have a jig for that? I do. <laughs> the Cat's Moses Magnetic Dovetail Jig does that. Hmm. So now that we've cleaned up our pins all the way, we're going to go ahead and test fit our boards together before glue up. And just like that, with just a little bit of cleanup, they go together perfectly. Let me take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. This summer, Squarespace has launched 16 new templates to make creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects, whether you're pursuing your side hustle or promoting your main gig. Create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support. And now you can transfer your third-party domains to Squarespace and it's never been easier to set up a store and sell online. Squarespace allows you to manage your products, orders, and inventory easily. So check this out. You already know about my main site that's geared towards woodworkers. I wanted to set up a new site for non-woodworkers as a portfolio to show off my work and get some commission jobs. In a previous life, before I was a woodworker, I was a web developer. So I know how much it costs and I know how much of a pain it is to set up a site from scratch. Squarespace makes it quick, easy, and simple to get you up and running without knowing a thing about code, the cloud, or servers. Start your free trial today at Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash make something to get 10% off your first order. Let's get back to this project and finish it up. Almost fit everything together. Just get it started. Just get it started. And then some light pressure on your, your tail side. Doesn't need to be as much. So we got the expensive Bessie clamps uh -huh. and then the cheap Harbor Freight clamps. So Jonathan, we're just gonna take the box and we're gonna cut it in half, right? Yep, and then flush cut off the maple. All right. Now it looks like this. Right. And now we're uh, going to cut our pins and tails into the second set. We've already cut a few off camera because a lot of the steps are repetitive. So we don't want to show you how to cut 150 dovetails and pins. But what is important about this step is layout. And the way it works is we've got our rabbit. And that is the distance of our marking gauge line on this piece. Uh, and our marking gauge line on this is the width of this board. That's pretty self-explanatory because you just your marking gauge guides you. But what becomes important about layout on this step is that we mark out our tails the same distance into the inlay as our depth line from our marking gauge is. And the reason that is is you're going to create a really even looking inlay where it's the same thickness all the way around the board. Mm -hmm. So the way we do that is we take our combination square. Oh, I put it back on the board. Oh. Like it, like an asshole. <laughs> what are you doing cleaning up, Pachuto? I know. So we take a measurement there. So then we want to do the same measurement in from our inlay. And what I like to do is I put a little dot 
where it goes. And that gives me a spot to reference off of. And then I take my square, do the same thing over here. Two and a half sixteenths. Two and a half sixteenths. Oh, I see now. Makes sense now. Right. Because it, it creates equal. So you want to make it the same measurement as from your walnut to your marking gauge line. This maple cut so much easier. Hot damn. Hot damn, baby. What we did is we took an eighth inch router bit, yep. raised it up just below the rabbit, and put it just inside the tail, so that way we don't have any holes in our pins and tails. Okay. And then we went around and routed a groove all the way around the edge for the top and the bottom to be inset. Awesome. Next, we're gonna glue this up, cut our lid and bottom to size, fit it together. Let's do it up. So now that we've put our lid and our, our bottom in and chamfered the edges to kind of give it that cool Aztec look, we're going to release the lid. And what we're going to do is use, the, we know that the sides of our box are this high. So we're going to use that as a height measurement. So we're going to go just slightly above that. And then we're going to do three cuts all running along the fence like this. And our last cut, we're going to use our gripper to keep the box from pinching together. Uh, so we don't have any any marks on the box that you're going to see later in finishing. Look at that. And so now we're going to cut some more figured maple to fit on the inside that just barely sticks over so your lid's gonna fit perfectly back uh. on top. How, How you, you like it now? And in the place where you live. Oh, oh that figured maple. I would like to thank my top Patreon supporters this week, and that's Evan and Caitlin, Jedi Schultz, Mark Fink, met Mark over the weekend, great dude, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Master of None, Michael at Will Work for Tools, Ashley Grennan, Jeremy Kerber, Ryan Petzold, George Ann Reeve, Carl Brink, Adam Beckwith, Bill Deal, Brian McKnight, Chad Forster, and Timothy Allen. If you want to support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachuto. Let's get back to the project and finish it up. Yeah. All right, that came out great. That was a little easier than I expected. I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that you would make the first set of dovetails and then cut it off, plush it up, and then make the second. I thought there were some, some weird router-ish things that you had to do, but it was easier than I thought. Yeah, there's really just no magic to it. I mean, it's really, if you can cut a dovetail, you can do inlaid dovetails. And so I love this technique because it really has a 3D pattern to it. Mm -hmm. It really pops. Yeah. and. The lines in it, just for me, with the design, with doing the lid, the same type of wood, it really feels like the inlay flows into the wood. And it really gives a great aesthetic feeling. Yeah. We are giving away this box that we made. So if you want to win this box, there will be a link. Excuse me, I, we're actually going to put two jigs in there, a six to one and an eight to one as well. Get the f out of here. No, we're going to give away a set of them. Really? I thought I told you that. My apologies. Oh. Guys, gals, I am sorry. We are giving away this with a set, two. six to one and eight to one mm -hmm. jigs. So if you want to win this box, 
and a set of the jig. There will be a link down below that's going to take you to my website. You're going to sign up for my email list, and we will draw a name next week. Jonathan J. Katz Moses. Dude, thank you. Thank you, man. I had such a blast. Mm, mm. Man love. <laughs> Eric, I love you too. Eric, Aww. big, big camera hug. All right, so that wraps it up. If you're new here, I put out new videos every Thursday, sometimes on Tuesday, although I haven't done that in many, many weeks, but I might put out a video this Tuesday because we're gonna do some more shooting later today. Mm -hmm. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified when new videos come up. I have all kinds of stuff available on my website, like books and t-shirts and stickers and magnets. Did I say magnets? I got new magnets up on my website. That is it, folks. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. something. That was perfect. That was perfect. Woo! All right. Woo. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash make something to get 10% off your first order.